Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ocello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ocello's Sports Medicine Report. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book and you could connect with me on other social media platforms. Please enjoy this sports medicine video. On today's episode of Dr. Ocello's Sports Medicine Report, I'm gonna speak about your pillow. I'm gonna give you qualities of your pillow that you need to help you to keep your neck, your upper back, and your upper extremities healthy. I'm not gonna recommend one specific brand or one type of pillow, but I'm going to mention certain qualities that you wanna look for in your pillow that are gonna help you a great deal. Rest and recovery are one of the most overlooked parts of any health and fitness routine. We all formulate our workouts, you know, we do our training, we train hard, we have our nutrition down, but the recovery and rest is often neglected. My personal opinion, my professional opinion also, is that rest and recovery is the most neglected part of any type of health and fitness routine. We want to make sure that we recover from our training. We want to make sure that we recover from our competitions. One of the most important parts of our recovery is our quality of sleep. One of the things that is a key factor in our quality of sleep is the position of our head and our upper body and our arms while we are sleeping. That's why I'm doing this video right now and speaking about qualities that you want to have in a pillow. The pillow is extremely important. The pillow helps to support the head and support the neck, keeping them in a good position while you're sleeping. One of the most important qualities that you want to look for in a pillow is the size. Make sure it is the correct size for you. Not the correct size for someone else, not the correct size for the guy at the store who is helping you, not the correct size for your friend, your kids, your parents, your spouse, the correct size for you. What I mean by that is everyone is individually different. When we speak about ergonomics, when we are talking about working at a desk, when we are talking about uh, sleeping, there are certain rules that we follow and then we modify those rules or guidelines for each individual. Because people can be the same height, but they can have a different curvature in their neck or a different curvature in their thoracic spine, which is the medical terminology for the mid-back. People can have longer legs, people can have shorter torsos compared to each other. So all those are things that we want to factor in when we speak about ergonomics. Now getting back to the pillow, the keys to having a good pillow are proper size, what works for you. Your pillow should always keep your neck in line with your spine. The third quality that you're looking for in a pillow is that it supports your head and your neck. So the three qualities that I'm gonna speak about today. First of all, number one, your pillow is the proper size for you. Number two, your pillow keeps your neck in line with the rest of your spine. And number three is just what I mentioned, the pillow supports your head and your neck. When we speak about the proper size and when we speak about keeping your head and your neck in line with the rest of your spine, those two almost go together because the proper size pillow is going to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. It doesn't matter if you're laying on your back or if you're laying on your side, a proper size pillow will do that for you. First of all, you should never lay on your stomach. Laying on your stomach is a terrible, terrible position for your spine and for your neck. It twists the neck back, pushes the head back like this. It's a really rough position for the muscles and for the nerves. It closes down on the spaces where the nerves go through after they branch off the spinal cord. So you wanna stay away from sleeping on your stomach. But when you are sleeping on your side, Say we're sleeping on this side, on my left-hand side. You want to make sure that the pillow is contacting the side of the head and it's contacting the neck and it's not pushing your head upwards and it's not 
pushing your head downwards. So the proper size pillow is going to keep the cervical spine, which is the medical terminology for the neck, in line with the thoracic spine, which is the medical term for the mid-back area. When you are laying on your right hand side, it's the same thing. So the pillow should be contacting your head and your neck, so it's supporting both. It should keep your cervical spine in line with the thoracic spine, so it's not pushing the head upwards or letting the head fall downwards. So you think about it, if it's too small, if you're laying on your right hand side and the pillow's too small, your head's gonna be tilted like this for six hours or eight hours or however long that you sleep. If it's too high, then it's gonna be tilted the opposite way. So it can cause those muscles to tighten up over time. It can cause impingement on the nerves because it closes down on the spaces. So if you're laying on your side, you wanna have that proper size pillow that's going to keep the neck in line with the spine. Now, if you're laying on your back, it's the same type of thing. You don't want the pillow to be so high that it pushes your chin down like this, or it pushes your chin forward, or you don't want the pillow to be so low that your head falls backwards like this. So you want to have a pillow that is going to fit your size. Everyone has a little bit different curvature in the neck. So again, you wanna make sure that you're getting the proper size. Now I'm gonna turn my side to you so you can see a little bit. You don't want the head to be pushed forward like this. Just think if you were sleeping in this position for six to eight hours, how much damage it would do to your neck. You don't want the neck to be pushed forward like this. I mean, if you were sleeping in this position for a long time, it would be terrible for the neck and for the upper back. And you don't want the head to be falling backwards. So you want to have a pillow that's going to keep your neck in line with the mid-back area. So that is going to help you a great deal. So that's what I mean by proper sizing. A proper size pillow is going to help to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Now, point number three, I went over point number one and point number two together. Point number three is you want your pillow to support your neck and your head at the same time. A lot of pillows will do one or the other, but the best pillow for your neck and for your head is one that supports them both. What I mean is that it makes contact with the neck, supports that area, and it makes contact with the head without pushing them forward without letting them fall back down, allowing you to have, giving you that support all night long is going to allow those muscles to rest and recover. If you have your head contacting the pillow, but your neck is not contacting the pillow, your neck muscles are going to still be working. They're not going to be resting as much as they should be. And the same thing, if you have your neck contacting the pillow, and your head is not contacting the pillow, the neck muscles may be supported, but they're still gonna be working because they're gonna to have to work to support the head. So you wanna make sure that you have a pillow that supports your neck and your head. So those are the three qualities that you wanna look for in a pillow. You want to make sure that it fits you properly, just like anything else. There's a lot of great pairs of shoes, but if you put on a pair of shoes that doesn't fit you properly, it's not going to do you any good. It's the same thing with the pillow. Find the pillow that fits you. The proper size pillow should keep your cervical spine in line with your thoracic spine. And then the proper pillow also should support your head and your neck. So those three qualities are going to help you a great deal to recover from your workouts. It's gonna help you to prevent neck pain and neck conditions. It's also going to help to you to prevent and recover from neck, from neck conditions and from nerve impingement conditions in the neck, in the thoracic spine, and in the upper extremities. We wanna make sure that we rest and recover between our training sessions. We wanna make sure that we get adequate sleep so that we can recover and feel refreshed throughout the day and our body can grow and it can adapt to our training sessions. When we're sleeping, that's when that happens. So you wanna make sure that you do everything you can to get a good night's sleep. So find a pillow that works great for you. Find a pillow that has these three qualities that I just spoke about and it will help you to develop and maintain lifelong spine health. 
Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozella's Sports Medicine Report, where I spoke about the qualities of a great pillow. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to leave any suggestions, feedback or questions in the comments section below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube page. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Train hard, train smart, recover from your training sessions, stay injury free, and accomplish your goals.